Hi guys, and welcome to How's It Rate. My name's Chico, and I'll be your host today. Today we're stepping up in the world. We're going to uh, review a Marie Callender uh, creamy Parmesan chicken pot pie. Tender white meat chicken, uh, golden flaky crust made from scratch. No preservatives, no artificial flavors. Um, to begin with, the uh, package looks great. As you can see, it's got a nice pretty picture of a chicken pot pie. And uh, this is a two serving package. So um, we're going to have to figure out what the nutritional factors are here. It says that the entire package contains 980 calories. There's two servings in this package and uh, the calories are 430 calories from fat are 230 uh, the, let's see, total fat is 25 grams 40 percent of your total daily allowance and saturated fat is 50 percent at 10 grams and trans fat is zero cholesterol 25 milligrams at 8 percent sodium 770 uh, milligrams at 32 percent of your daily uh, intake potassium 180 grams at 5 percent total carbohydrates are 36 grams again not an Atkins uh, diet food dietary fiber 4 grams at 16 percent sugars are 3 grams protein 14 grams and then your list of vitamins and such um, the cooking instructions seem quite easy it says uh, keep frozen do not thaw we all know that from all the other stuff um, ovens and wattages may vary uh, just cooking times as needed. Product uh, must be cooked thoroughly. Heat and follow these directions. Uh, da -da -da. Microwave oven. Cook only one product at a time. Open the carton at the push tab, peel back along the perforations and completely tear off the top of the carton. Slit top crust. Cook in carton with top off. Microwave an open carton on high, 1100 watts, okay, 1100 watt oven or more, for 9 to 10 minutes. Do not cook in microwave ovens below 1100 watts, as pot pie may not cook thoroughly. Convectional, uh, convection, convec, convec, Conventional oven preparation is recommended if you don't have an oven that's uh, 1100 watts. And so we all got to buy that 1100 watt microwave oven. Let's stand five minutes in microwave to complete cooking. Carefully remove as product will be hot. Check that the pot pie is cooked thoroughly. Internal temperature needs to reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Measured by a food thermometer in several spots. Crust is golden brown and steam rises from the filling. I don't know why they put that in there, of course. So, convectional oven. Uh, preheat oven at 400 degrees. Remove pot pie from outer carton. So you take everything off except for the little pot that it comes in. Leave pot pie in paper tray. Wrap crust edge with a strip of aluminum foil. And bake on a cookie sheet for 63 to 65 minutes. Oh my goodness, one hour in the oven for this puppy. <coughs> Carefully remove this product will be hot. Let's stand five minutes to complete cooking. <laughs> After 65 minutes, my goodness, I think it would be cooked. Check that the pie is cooked thoroughly. Internal temperature, again with the thermometer, crust is golden brown, blah, 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 blah. Temperatures above 400 degrees Fahrenheit and or failure to use a cookie sheet may cause damage to the tray, food, and or oven. Good to know. Good to know. So again, microwave oven, we want to put one pie in, and it has to be an 1100 watt or more oven. That's microwave. So one pie, that's the important thing. Now, in a conventional oven, I would assume, and I, I would assume correctly, I believe, that you could put more than one pie in a conventional oven and cook it at the recommended temperature for the recommended time. Um, two different types of cooking, okay, microwave uh, obviously is, 
is uh, going to cook this internally also, whereas the oven conventional is just surrounded by heat, dry heat. Um, and that heat would remain pretty consistent, so I think you could put more than one pie in there. Uh, matter of fact, I could more or less guarantee it. Um, everything looks pretty good. The ingredients, uh, filling is uh, chicken broth, chicken flavor, chicken broth again, turkey broth, uh, rendered chicken fat, a bunch of good stuff in here. The ingredients are, I would have to say, uh, a little bit higher end than, than what was in the uh, Bounty Chicken Pot Pie, which I liked very much. And the Bounty Chicken Pot Pie was only 80 cents. This puppy here at Wally World, guess where? Yeah, absolutely, Wally World. Uh, this one was 250 uh, again, though, it serves two people. In my case, it's going to serve one because I'm eating this, this thing. I'm not inviting every, anybody over for dinner. This is going to be my meal. Okay, we're ready to cook this puppy, so let's open it up. We have to remember that we only tear off the top um, along the perforation. All right. Ah, it's here somewhere. Aha, push to open, right there. That's what it says, push to open. So we're going to push it. Let's see how easily this works. So far, so good. Okay, it's not exactly tearing at the perf, but we're going to get a reasonable facsimile thereof. That's what it looks like. Okay, pretty good size portion. Weighs one pound according to the package. So let us uh, move on to the microwave and we'll see how this baby comes out. We'll see you soon. Hi, folks. We're back from the uh, microwave oven and I can tell you this thing smells absolutely delicious. And here it is, uh, left in the box, partial box, for cooking as was recommended. The crust has become nice golden brown, and I can hear it bubbling away in there. So, let's see how it tastes. Let's see if we can get the rest of this package off. Make it a little easier to eat. And this is a two-portion meal, remember. Oh, we had a little, little leakage on one side. You can see there, no big deal. The box caught it, so we don't have to worry about cleaning the oven. As I say, this, this thing just smells and looks incredibly good. Well, it should, right? It's the Cadillac of uh, chicken pot pies, Marie Callender. And this is the uh, Parmesan. So let's see. Wow, this crust is nice, awesome. Everything is bubbly in there. Nice pieces of carrot, um, vegetables, definitely uh, much higher quality than, than the banquet. Um, let's hope it tastes really good. It should, it should blow the banquet away even though the banquet was very good. But I can see nice chunks of meat in here. And again, this was only two fifty, and it's for two people. So two fifty divided in half is a buck and a quarter. Uh, it's slightly more expensive than the uh, than the uh, banquet, but I have a feeling it's going to be worth the price. And the crust is still nice and crusty all the way down. Here goes. I'm dying to take a bite. Very hot. Mmm. taste is awesome. Now, it looks to be a little bit drier than the uh, banquet, but it's still the flavor is just phenomenal. The crust is, is really nice and the aroma coming out of this thing, just awesome. Vegetables are nice, they're, 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 they're not mush. Um, I gotta tell you guys, 
This is really good. Oh. Awesome. Mmm. Okay. Marie Callender wins. I have to give this a five. Ease of preparation. Uh, the appearance is phenomenal. Flavor is very good. The crust is awesome. Um, two fifty. There's two servings in here. No way am I sharing this with anybody. And that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the review on our Marie Calendar Parmesan Chicken Pot Pie. This is a five-star dish. Yes, out of the frozen food, five-star. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.